consisted of Coast Guard units. We've got a vessel in distress off the western coast. All units respond. Yo, 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 what's going on guys, your boys pilot 2k7 jumping in with another Coastal Call Us episode here in Grand Theft Auto 5 So welcome back guys to another episode, it looks like we have a distress signal coming in off the west coast it Looks like there's a missing boat, you know what, let's go ahead and respond to that We're actually on duty today as a Coast Guard pilot and we're going to be flying the sea uh 27j uh aircraft today so let's go ahead and take a look at that really quickly guys if you guys like what you see highly recommend you check out the um coastal call outs mod it's currently in an open beta so it's not available yet still being worked on by pnv parks fan but if you like to get to check it out early check out the parks benefactor program information about it can be found in the video description down below so yeah we was in the c-130 right there let's go ahead and check out the c-27j so this is a smaller medium um, size aircraft right here which is pretty cool it's used for surveillance um, drug interdiction uh, migrants interdictions uh, they use it for search and rescue so pretty cool and more modern aircraft compared to the c-130 back there so we're gonna go ahead and try it out today i actually never flew it and um yeah let's go ahead and try it out today so we have a report of a sinking ship with up to eight people on board so that's gonna be a tricky rescue we're gonna have to get some helicopters in the air as well so it looks like we have a jayhawk over there and we also have a um dolphin over here we're probably gonna have to dispatch both of those helicopters to help out with the rescue because eight people is a lot of people we're probably gonna need at least two helicopters to rescue everybody all right so i was just checking out the interior it's pretty cool in here all right let's not waste any time guys let's go ahead and get going so let's go ahead and jump into the c27 there we go go ahead and fire it up let's close up the doors All right, let's close all doors. Have that ramp come up. All right, we are now ready for takeoff. Let's check our map. We're gonna be heading right over here. We have a pretty big search here. We're gonna have to search. So by using air, the um, aircraft, we should be able to search the area a lot faster than the helicopter. So let's go ahead and get ready to take off, guys. And uh, let's actually take off to the north so we're not going to take this runway we're going to cross this runway and take that other, other runway over there and go ahead and take off oh look at that that's pretty cool there this is a really nice interior this is way more modernized compared to the c-130 i should have jumped in the c-130 to show you guys that all right so let's see if we go ahead and find these people and rescue everybody here all right we are cleared to taxi to the active runway so we're going to go ahead and taxi you guys do enjoy this episode do me a favor make sure you guys hit that like button leave some comments down below and if you guys want to see more coastal call us episode definitely let me know and let me know what else you guys would like to see do you guys want to see more plane videos more helicopter videos more boat videos let me know what you guys would like to see and i will definitely make it happen for you guys and also, like I said, if you guys are interested in playing it a little bit early before it's come out, check out the Parks Factor program. Also, check out the Work in Progress page as well. Both can be found in the video description down below. All right. So we're taxiing to the active runway here, guys. We're going to go ahead and hold short. We got to really get going, though. We have eight people. That's a lot of people there. All right. Let's go ahead and get going here. This is a really nice looking aircraft, though. All right. Got takeoff power. Airspeed is alive. Got V1. And rotates. There we go. Positive rate. Landing gear up. Beautiful. Alright, nice takeoff. Let's go ahead and um, turn towards our search area that we're going to be looking for. Now once we get over the search area, we're going to use some of our surveillance instruments. Uh, that does include the um, cameras. We have the regular camera. We have the forward-looking infrared. 
Um, so we're gonna put all of that to use and see if we can find the people here. Now, according to the distress signal, the boat is sinking. So by the time we get on scene, we're not sure if the boat's gonna be completely sunken already, if it's still gonna be in the process of sinking. Are the people still gonna be on board? Are they, did they abandon ship? Are they in a life uh, ship? We don't know. We do not know. Lifeboat, I should say. All right, let's go ahead and fly in the direction. I really am liking this aircraft. Uh, I was actually going to do this episode with the C-130, and then I remembered that they um, Parks added in the C-27J, and I figured might as well check it out. Might as well check it out. All right, guys, so we're coming up on the search area already. Search area is a really large area, so we're going to do... As you can see, this is the search area here. Let's um, let's fly around the outside and then kind of work our way into the search area here. Or you know what, actually? Let's fly through it first. That way we can kind of just look at everything. Let's fly directly through the search area and then we'll start like wrapping around it. So let's fly through to the other side and let's see if we can locate this um, boat here. So like I said, we do have the cameras here. I'm probably gonna go and lower my altitude a bit here. But yeah, so far, not seeing anything at all, guys. Not seeing anything at all so far. Oh, wait, wait. I think we got something, guys. All right, I see a cargo ship here. This may be our missing vessel right here. Let's go ahead and mark that on our map. I think we found our vessel already, guys. All right, we may be lucky. Maybe lucky. All right, let's go ahead and move in for a closer look. If this is the right vessel, and we can confirm that this is it, we go ahead and call in the helicopters, and they can hopefully start grabbing some of these people out of the water. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a nice feature. It automatically enters autopilot whenever we put on the camera. That's cool. Alright, so we found the ship, guys. Found the ship. Not seeing any people, though. Let's go ahead and set our waypoint to fly us over here. Let's go ahead and kind of lose a little bit of altitude here too. And so far I'm not seeing anybody in the water guys. So this is a tricky part. We found the ship but the people may have already abandoned the ship. We don't know. They may have already abandoned the ship guys. We did not see anybody there. Let's go ahead and make another pass. Alright, so let's make a nice slow pass this time. Well, I didn't mean to go that low. <laughs> Alright, let's just fly directly overboard here. Alright. So far, we have not found anybody. Let's go ahead and get some um, other other aircraft out here. So let's pull up our coast. Oh crap. Oh crap, 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 crap. We are going to need to be rescued there. Oh, that was close. Alright, let's try it again. Let's pitch up, power up. Alright. I'm going to have to do this fast because when we pull up the menu, <laughs> I can't control the aircraft. <laughs> Alright, let's do a couple more passes. So we have not located anybody yet, guys. So what we're gonna do. Let's uh crap. I gotta pitch up before I pull up the menu. To at least have a chance at not losing it. Let's go to search, search, search menu. Update the search radius. Oh, I see something guys. Let's request some helicopters and let's get a boat. Helicopter support off the western coast. I see a flare, guys. I see a flare. You guys see that? Somebody's popping a flare. 
Alright guys, we found one victim. We got one victim. We're gonna have to mark this location on the map, guys. We're gonna have to mark this location on the map, and we're gonna go ahead and get a helicopter out here to pick this guy up. So we found one person so far. I think they found another person too already. Alright, let's mark this person. So we found somebody on the map there. We got one person with a flare. You guys see him? Alright, perfect. Alright, so what we're going to do, guys, let's go ahead and get the helicopter teams in here and let's start picking these people out of the ward. And we've, so far, we found one person, so let's see if we can find some more people. Alright, guys, so we have just transitioned into the helicopter rescue team here. We're going to go ahead and start trying to save some of the people now that we have located them with the... Um, with the CJ27 plane. So now we're in the back of the helicopter. Let's go ahead and get ready. So right now our pilot is flying. We are getting prepared to start rescuing some of these people here. Alright. Let's go ahead and start looking for the people. So we had that one guy with the flare. Let's also get another um, search team out here because we have eight people in the water. We got to make sure we do not lose anybody here. So let's get another search team out here. Units. Units Alright, so the boat was right there. The person we found was somewhere We're over there. In. Over. We do have to be careful. There are other search teams in the area, so we got to make sure we pay attention. Not have any collisions here. Alright, so let's go ahead and make that first rescue. I'm going to go for the guy with the uh, flare. Alright, there's another... Two other search teams are on site here. There's a boat there as well that makes three. Alright, so they're going ahead and try to locate some more victims. I think they found somebody else over there. There's another another boat out. We got a motor life boat out. Alright, so we're using all resources right now. Alright, we found a person with the um flare, so let's go ahead and grab that person. Go ahead and let my pilot slow down. Let's go ahead and get to the right rear seat here alright so we're in the right rear alright we're in our swimmer uniform here alright we got some really large waves guys got some really large waves alright um let's go ahead and get as low as we possibly can right now we're gonna go ahead and jump right out we're gonna make a uh, swim for this guy here. Let's move up a little closer because these waves are kind of big here. We don't want to drop right on we him, but we want to drop near Moving him. Alright, we got a C-130 crew. They just located the somebody. The oh, these waves are really high, guys. These waves are high. Alright, let's go ahead and make the jump. I see somebody else over there, too. I see three people. We got three people in the water. Alright, let's move quick, guys. Let's move quick. Let's get that helicopter back up. Let's get our basket up. Alright, let me grab this first person. I got three people, guys. Three people are in the water at my location right now. We're gonna have to move quick. Crap, these waves are so high. Alright, where is that guy at? Alright, he's right there. So what we're gonna do is tell the helicopter to go right over the guy. Let me just fix the hoist real quick. Alright, let's have this... Uh, go over the guy there. Alright, so we're gonna follow the helicopter there. There he goes. Alright, we see the flare. Got the helicopter above us. Let's go ahead and grab this first guy. Shoot, I think I just passed somebody else possibly too. Alright, we got one first. We got one person. You okay, sir? Alright, I'm here with the Coast Guard. I'm here to rescue you, okay? I'm here to rescue, don't worry. Alright, let's go ahead and get into rescue mode now. Go ahead and get a basket on this guy. Oops. Alright, basket's going down. Alright, so basket is going down, guys. We're gonna go ahead and hold on to him right now. Alright, sir, I'm gonna get you in the, the basket, alright? Alright, I did see t uh, two other people. Not sure where they're at right now because I kind of lost my bearings a little bit there. Alright, we got one coming up, one coming up. 
while he's coming up let's go ahead and locate the other people now where are they at where are they at they're right there all right other people over there let's put a marker on them so we don't lose them all right back to the helicopter camera let's get him in all right how far are these guys from me they're not too far i'm gonna swim for these guys here i'm gonna swim for them These waves are crazy right now. Really don't have enough time to get back in the helicopter and get lowered down, so I'm just swimming. Alright, the other teams are locating a lot of people, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like we have everybody in this main area, guys. So we're just gonna have to work really fast, try to rescue these people. May not be able to get everybody in one helicopter, so we'll probably have to possibly make two trips. Alright, I got both people here. I got one here. Hello, sir. Let's grab him. Alright. Here, we're gonna swim with him to the other person over here just so we can keep eyes on everybody. Where's the other person? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? This is an intense rescue, guys. Switch back to helicopter camera. Where are we at? Alright, the other guy is right off right there. Oh, there he goes right there. All right. So I got two people here. All right. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to get you guys out of here. All right. Let's get back to the bucket. Let's go ahead and get the bucket down. Basket down. All right. So we got three people so far. One's in a helicopter. I got three here. You know what? We may just request another helicopter because I don't think we're going to have enough time to um, get in this helicopter and everything. So let me get this guy in there. Let's get him up. Let me grab the hold of this guy. Whoa, that C-130 is dangerously low there. Where is it? Damn! Alright, that C-130 is looking for people there. LSPD, I will kill you! Alright, let's get him in. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the uh, basket back in. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down one more time. We're gonna bring this guy in with ourselves. How the heck did I manage to do that? I don't know how I did that. That was kind of weird. I gotta give him a warning. Consider this a warning. Alright, so this guy, we're gonna go ahead and pick him up one time. Let's go ahead and jump on here. Actually, nope, that's not what we wanna do. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Alright, I got him. Oh, this is a lot of work, guys. Whew. Let's grab me. Get on. Alright, we got him. Let's lift him up. I think we're doing great on time, guys. We got three people so far. Let's get back to the camera and see if we can find anybody else nearby. We got some signatures over there. Alright, I think that's going to be our next search location right there. Alright, let's get him into the helicopter. We're running out of space here. Let's get ourselves into the helicopter. Let's see. We have any available seats? We have one more seat available, guys. Alright. We have one more seat available. I have eyes on another victim here. Another male here. Alright, let's move in for this one. Dispatch, we have a visual. Moving in. Alright, get me no get me nice and low. Get me nice and low. Where is he at? He's right behind the helicopter. Get me nice and low. We're gonna go ahead and do another jump out. Ah! Whew. Alright, let me tell him to gain altitude there. This is all about time here. Time and being safe. I got another person. I, I don't think we're going to be able to get anybody else here, guys. Let's go ahead and get back to here, actually. Not going to even use a basket. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing we just did. Let's drop the line back down. Go ahead and lift both of us up at the same time. While that's going, let's go ahead and do another quick scan of the area. We need to pick up any other signatures. We are not. Okay. Let's get hooked up here. Alright, I got him on. Let's go up, up, up. This is a crazy episode, guys. It's been kind of a little while since we had to do a crazy rescue like this here. 
so many people. Alright, let's put them in. Do we still have seats available in here? Let me go ahead and get in. We still got one more seat available, I believe. Alright. Let's continue searching here, guys. Alright, so we do have other search teams in the area. They did find some other people as well as the, um... Oh my god, watch out, C-130! Danger close. Alright, we found four victims so far. I was going to try to find some more people. Alright, so since we have a pretty full aircraft here, what we're going to do is let's, um, let's drop these people off at the nearest drop-off here. Alright, so we got four people. Let's go ahead and drop them off at the nearest drop off. Probably take the dark to the hospital. I'm trying to think what would be closest hospital or Fort Zancudo. We haven't been to Fort Zancudo in a while. Alright, let's let's drop them to Fort Zancudo. We'll get a, a, a ambulance to meet us over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the pilot seat. I'm gonna take over control of the aircraft. Go ahead and clean up as well. So we're gonna go directly to Fort Zancudo. We're gonna have a uh, EMS team standing by at Fort Zancudo to transfer them to the nearest hospital. Mainly because time is of the essence, so we need to get back out here. Everybody that we did get out today is okay. Nobody's in like critical condition, so we don't have to get them directly to the hospital. It's gonna be okay. So we got four people back here. We do have space for more, but let's go ahead and try to get these people out of here and then we'll um, get try to find the rest of the people so hopefully those other search teams could find everybody else we're looking for and we could go ahead and make the grabs Alright guys, so we're coming into Fort Zancudo's airspace. We are cleared for a direct landing at the helipad right over here. We do have a uh, ambulance standing by. Let's see, we'll go ahead and land as fast as possible. That way we can get right back to the search area. Danger close there. Alright. Alright, so we're landing at a military base right here. Oh, that was a pretty nice landing. A little off, actually. Alright, there's the ambulance there. Those guys will get transported, taken care of. Alright. There goes the ambulance. And we are now cleared to depart. be flying directly back to the search area now. Alright guys, we just had another rescue crew locate two people and another crew located one person. So we just located three more people. Hopefully the fourth person is close by. So we're going to try to get to that last known location as fast as possible and we're going to try to pull out those four people and then look for that uh, pull out the three people and look for that fourth person. So let's get back over there guys. This is action packed. Uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying this one. And if you are, like I said, make sure you guys hit that like button.
Alright guys, so we are back over the search area. I think I just saw somebody actually. Where were they at? Just saw somebody. Okay, we got one person directly underneath us, I believe. Alright, let's go ahead and lower our altitude down. Oh, oh. Okay, I got scared. I thought he was floating there. I got a little worried. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and grab this person here. back. Let's get on the hoist. Let's go ahead and lower ourselves down. We'll try to just grab him and go right back up. Alright, so we still got three more people we gotta locate. Alright, let's go ahead and make the quick grab. Oh, got him. These waves are brutal right now. Let me try to get back to the Line there. All right, got him. I love the dual hoist. All right, so while they're coming up, let's see if we can locate anybody else. I got a, something over there. Yep, we got somebody over there. So let's mark him. We also continue searching. All right, so let's get our victim inside. He's in. Let me get in myself. I'm in. Let's go to this next person over here. I got a visual on him. c 130s moving in. This person. Let's try to just make a quick grab on him. Dispatch, we got eyes on the target. All right, I got one right here. We try to time it nicely with the wave, so. There we go. Alright, let's grab him. You okay, sir? That line down. Let's also gain some altitude. Alright, we're up. Doing good guys, we are doing good. So I got two more people we need to locate. Let's get him in. Let me get myself in. Alright, I got two more people we're looking for guys. Two more, two more. Two more victims. Alright, let's make contact with the other search crews. They did find somebody else before, but I'm not seeing them now. Alright, let's expand the search area. Expand the search area again. We may have to recenter it as well too. Let's actually recenter the search area. Alright, so they're gonna start an expanded search area and let's see if we can get any more intel. Alright, so we have multiple boats, helicopters, and aircraft searching now. Now let's see if they could find the last two people here. Alright guys, so we're back. Uh, well, we're actually in the city now. We are dropping off the two people that we already rescued. We still have not located the last two people. We've been flying for about 15 minutes. We have called in all available resources to try to get the last two um, people. So we have two search planes, we have four other helicopters, plus my helicopter makes five helicopters, and we have four boats out searching the area, and we have still not located the last two people, so it's not looking too good, guys. Let's go ahead and drop off these two. So that puts us at six people rescued. They're going to go ahead and take them in. We're still missing two people as you see on the bottom left. We've been flying 42 minutes in total since we first got the call. So we're going to head back out to the search area, guys. Um, it's not looking too good, but we're not going to give up yet. We're not going to give up yet. So 
what happened was we originally found the boat over here we found most of the people here and here we was concentrated on searching this area uh, what I have done is expanded the search area so the yellow is where the original call came in we found the person here the boats and the people here and the blue is the area that we were searching so at first we were searching this small concentrated area and we pretty much searched as much as we can there so we made the circle a little bit bigger we searched still didn't find anything so now we have this circle really large searching this whole entire area see if we can find them now they could be outside of this yellow circle too so we do have to we're gonna search here a little while um, five or ten minutes if that doesn't happen we'll head over to the boat again and we'll recenter the search location over here and we'll see if we could find these people so we still got two people missing at sea guys hopefully we'll be able to locate them Alright guys, a C-130 crew has just found somebody. We're going to go ahead and head to that location. So we just found the seventh person now. We are hanging on the side here. We're going to try to make a nice quick rescue. Let's pull up our camera. Alright, finally we made progress. We did update the search area a little bit, so that probably did help. I'll show you guys the current search area so yeah we expanded the search area over here you know what I think we need to concentrate in this last area over here all right let's find this last person guys let's find them let's find them where are they where are they all right we got one we have a visual on the target all right we got one let's just do a quick set check to see if there's anybody else around here Alright, we just got this one for now. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this person. Let's get nice and low. Let's get right over them. Alright, let's go down. Just gonna grab them, pull them right up. So this person been in the water for nearly an hour. And we still have one more person out there somewhere. Alright, just grab them. I'm gonna have to get off. Alright, got him. Alright, let's go up. Alright, we still got one more person, guys. We still got one more person to rescue. Alright, let's put her in. Alright, so we have one more victim, guys. One more victim to search. We still have a lot of resources, out, as you can see. We have two. Let's check. We still have one person missing. So we have two planes out, four helicopters, plus me is five, and four boats. Alright, let's see if we can find this last person, guys. Alright guys, looks like one of the other J-Hawk crews finally found the last person. It looks like they were right here. I just expanded the search area too. Wait, they found one pet. Hold up. Nope, they found him over here. We almost went to the wrong place. Alright, you know, we were over there before too. Alright, so we have a visual on the last person. Let's go ahead and get there as fast as possible. This has been an extended operation, guys. This has been an extended operation. We have been out and about for over an hour searching this area here, guys. It's been crazy. So the last helicopter has located the final person. And let's see if we can get them out of the water. Hopefully they're okay. They've probably been in the water for over an hour. So I'm sure hypothermia is setting in at this time. Alright, we're coming up on them. Um, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? There they go. Got him. We have we never have found him. Alright, we got him. Let's go ahead and move in. Alright, guys, so we finally found the last person. Let's do this nice and easy. Go ahead and hook up to the hoist. Head down, grab him, get him up. 
What a lot of dedication to the rescue took, guys. And he's still okay, it looks like, too. Wow, what a day. I can't even imagine how difficult and challenging this would be in real life. So you gotta give it up to the Coast Guard for doing this on a daily basis, man. It's, it's really amazing what they're able to do. Alright, we do have the last victim here. He is gonna be the eighth person, eight of eight. We have confirmed with the other crew members. There's only eight people on board, and we now have all eight people, guys. Wow. We have all eight people. Alright, let's get inside. Alright, let's get this guy. Uh, this guy's been in here forever, so let's go back to the hospital. He's probably experiencing hypothermia. Oh my god, please don't crash us after doing all that work. Oh my goodness! Fudge! Fudge! Come on! After all of that, that's how it ends, guys. That is how it ends, guys. Wow. Alright, order everybody up. Really, man? You had one job pilot. Well, wow, look at the mission time. 75 minutes. Wow. Dang it. I should have just took control and flew us home myself. I don't know why. Oh, no, my pilot's dead. Oh, my God. Great. All right. All right. That's not good. Where did those other people go? All right, that that was a terrible ending to this. <laughs> There's these other two right here. All right, just gonna put God mode on. Let's grab these two. What a terrible ending. <laughs> we did all that work just to crash at the end. Damn. I wonder what caused him to crash to him because he just like was not following my altitude advice at all. Alright, it is what it is. That was nearly a perfect successful rescue but hey, it is what it is. I do apologize about that. I gotta watch the replay and see what went wrong there. Alright, what we're gonna do, let's get a helicopter overhead. Attention all units. Units requesting air support off the western coast. I don't know what we're going to do about our pilot though. Yeah, our pilot is not looking too good. Alright, here, just float right here. Where's that other person at? Ah, great. Where did I put that lady at? Let's see if I can save my pilot here. I tried to do CPR and it was kind of glitchy because we're in water. What if I'm doing it? I can't even tell what's going on right now. I'm just going to cancel that. Hey right, guys, so bad idea trying to do CPR in the water. I'm like stuck and I can't really get out of this animation. I was, animation. I was going to try to get us all into the helicopter. But anyway guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. We technically did complete the mission. We rescued all eight people. And uh, we do have another helicopter overhead to pick up the remaining two survivors. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Sorry about the little hiccup there at the end. But I uh, do thank you guys for watching. Yeah, my guy is still trying to do the CPR. But I do thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Leave some comments down below. And subscribe if you are new. Alright, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.